As Christmas draws closer, local organizations and churches say they are doing what they can to help. Um, this year has just been obviously very trying. Melissa Cox runs Compassion Closet. We're helping some families, foster families locally, um, and even some residential kids that are like in a residential facility. This year, she says, while they are trying to help others, they need a little help too. We still need, you know, donations for kids. So how can you do that? Well, you can buy an ornament from one of their donation trees. People can take an ornament, then go buy that item and then return it to the business. Things like diapers, socks and presents. And then we collect them um, typically, you know, the week before Christmas. And if you can't do that, you can always order something in their Amazon wish list. But if you cannot donate money and know how to work a sewing needle, you may be able to help the Oak Ridge Unitarian Universalist Church. We've just got to be creative this year. For 10 years, they've collected mittens on a tree. 2020, of course, will look a little different. Especially this year, we wanted to add masks uh, just to make sure that everybody has a chance to mask up and stay safe. So if you are hoping to help this holiday season, both groups say they're open to giving help and receiving it. The service doesn't stop. We're, we're still, our, our building is closed, but the ministry is still going on. In Knoxville, I'm Gabrielle Hayes.